So for the past few days, I have been milking the living hell out of the hunt event. And honestly, this is probably my last video I'm going to do on it. If I don't, well then the dead horse keeps spinning out money. But today I want to compile some of the easiest badges inside the hunt. Now, before I start, I just want to say for something to be easy, it has to be easy for everybody. So situational easiness like simulator games or even football fusion, where if you have prior experience, it could be the easiest badge of them all, sadly will not count for this video. And on top of that, I'm going to to try keeping the list diverse so we have multiple things from multiple games but if you're looking for five games you can just easily knock on out of the event that require no prior experience well this list is for you then and let's just get started coming up at number five we have survival game now this is one of the last badges i actually did because i honestly was kind of intimidated by the fact that it was a survival game and i was worried it was going to make me do a bunch of questing or go do a bunch of exploring but thankfully it does not this quest maybe took me all of two minutes but it might take you guys a little bit longer longer for this one reason. Now, all you have to do is find a chest that's marked already on your map and then kill the monster that's also there and secure your loot. But here's the catch because this is number five after all. If you're playing with a group of friends, this is going to be cake because all you do, you get three people with a rock and you go wham, 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 you know, over and over and over. Like literally just beat them down with a rock like you're a caveman. However, if you're solo playing, this could be a smidge harder just because of the fact you're probably gonna have to get some kind of weapon before you actually kill the guy. Because I remember killing this guy on stream and it was just me and I was actually having some difficulty until two of my viewer cavemen linked their two brain cells together and just started being on him. But yeah, once again, you shouldn't really have any trouble with this one. Now for this next one, I'm gonna put two games up because they're basically like the same thing, but just made by different people. Blade Ball and Death Ball. Both of these two games are really mindlessly easy. For blade ball, all you have to do is hit the ball 30 times and get three eliminations. And since the ball is literally homing, as long as you have somewhat reasonably good timing, you should get that within like five minutes. Like literally, the kills will come naturally. All you have to do is really just hit the ball. And death ball is also really easy because all you have to do is beat a boss fight. But here's the fun part. You don't even have to contribute to the boss fight. You really don't. If you really want to, you can sit there and just leech off everybody else. Yeah, nobody's gonna like you, but you still get in your badge at the end of the day. Both of these badges combined maybe took me 10 minutes. Not even. Like, honestly, it, it is that easy. And if you've already played both of these games, well, that's even better because now you can literally just win. It, winning. You're, you're winning. But coming in at number three, Life Together RP. Now, this one's a fun one in my opinion because, yes, it might be just a smidge more work than all the other ones so far. However, it is actually so unbelievably easy. All you have to do is find all of the eggs and then once you find the eggs you got to take a little snapchat photo now there are 10 eggs that you have to do this to but thankfully it's all within the spawn area so you won't really have to go out that far to actually find said eggs and on top of that if you're an extra special corny viewer because you are watching my video you probably won't be able to find these on your own which thankfully there are probably millions upon millions of user tutorials on how to find every single one of them so like it's almost nearly impossible not to do this it is that easy speaking of really unbelievably easy games though. Coming up at number two, we have Brookhaven RP. Now, if you thought the other three were easy, this takes the cake. This is by far way easier than all the other ones combined. This one is also an egg hunt. However, the eggs are massive. Like, they are huge. And if for whatever odd reason, you can't find them or you can't see these massive eggs, there is a giant Roblox logo plastered on it. I think in total, there's either 10 or 20 eggs you have to collect. But once again, this maybe took me three minutes just because once again, they were all in the spawn and you had to do very, very little walking. But now I guess it's time for an honorable mention or two. The first one is Barry Avenue RP. Now this game was also unbelievably easy, but it didn't really feel that diverse in the game. So I kind of kept this one out. However, you could probably substitute this one out for any other ones on the list. But in order to get this one, all you have to do is follow a really, really easy tutorial. And what's this tutorial, you might ask? I think it's of making a fruit platter. The game will point in the direction on where you need to go and what items you actually need to get. And then once you do that, you got to go to your home and then simply prepare the ingredients. This one made me take all of five minutes. Honestly, it really wasn't that hard. Anybody could do it. And if you couldn't do it, I'd assume that you just have no arms or legs. Another honorable mention I would like to say is Friday Night Funkin'. All you have to do for that one is literally just play a few songs. You don't have to do anything 
good on it. You just have to play a few songs. I think four different songs in total, which I'm pretty sure each and every song was actually custom made for the hunt event. So even though it's really, really easy to get the badge, I also strongly encourage you to play it because you'll probably realize how hard that game actually is because, oh my God, I tried doing that. It, 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 it did not end well. And thank God, thank God, they did not require you to get a certain percentage or a certain score on the game. All you have to do is play it. If it was a certain score in the game, I would be here forever and this would not be in the video. It'd be in the hardest video. And now for our final game at number one to nobody's surprise, it is Legends of Speed. Now I'm going to do a live demonstration on how to get this badge. So everybody make sure you guys are looking very carefully because you might miss it. Yep, that, that's it. That's all you do. You hold W for all of two seconds and the badge is yours. Honestly, I have no idea how this even got to the hunt in the first place. I appreciate a free badge here and there, but this one is not even remotely fun. This one is just straight up press W and leave. And I think I can speak for everybody when I say this. Everybody wants an easy challenge, but nobody wants a challenge that's just given to you. There needs to be a sense of challenge or at least a sense of trying to do something with this game. But like, I guess it could have been worse. They could have made us really grind out the simulator like game out but really like they could have done something way better i have no idea how this is on roblox but yeah that's my entire list let me know if you agree down in the comments and if i missed some games because this only is a top five so i definitely probably missed a few games here and there anyways that is my top five if you agree let me know down in the comments and like the video enjoy the rest of your guys' day bye bye